has to be the one that fills in Samoa's shoes. Can't you just have like um, like a like a construction crew, like you know construction workers with vehicles? How can one person Samoa, really do Samoa, all the construction? Simona was head builder, and she did have a crew. And when you take out the leader, the whole crew falls. Okay, don't so, you think that crew, you know, I'm sure she had like a second in command or something, right? Don't you think that her um, her crew might feel kind of insulted that um, you you have like a person who is a week old just take control? You inherited the crew. I mean, so, so, you, so you've got a construction crew that runs like a... Um, Runs like a you know a kingdom. Uh, she's not, well, she's not. Uh, family's not going to take the reins prematurely like that. You just she's said that she's so going through heavy training. Why? So she's child labor. No, not child labor. Well, she's like a week old, and you already had her assassinate people. I mean, that's the the point of that was to get revenge against Evan for Evan for even thinking of killing off Simona. But you killed Simona. Because I was for, because I felt forced to, but between we that's correct. We else. did force you to because you refused to acknowledge it. Chris, what is copyright infringement? Give me your definition. Copyright infringement. Yes, I'd like to hear your definition. The misuse of a character that originally belongs to somebody else. Oh, really? Okay, consent. now how does that connect to Simona? You misuse you misuse Simona because she wrongfully belong her she she rightfully belonged to someone else. Yeah, well still even still even Steven Sancho was originally mine and I have the co- and I have the copyright registration forms to prove that. So, what does that have to do with Simona? You stole... Don't change the subject, Chris. You stole Simon Chu and and screwed around with him. Two wrongs make a right. Is that is that the case? That is not the point I am trying to make. Well, then but why do you... That is fairly well, accurate, though. When we're talking about Simona, why do you bring up Sonic Chu's copyright? What, what does that have to do with it? Because you drew him without my, because you drew him in your pages without my consent, and then made him and then made him look like he could look like a homosexual or appear as such. Why? Uh, why does what I? Why does anything that I do have anything at all to do with how you treat Evan and his property? Why do you want to punish one person for? for a wrong that you perceive another unrelated person doing. Hmm. I am not Evan. Evan is not me. Chris, you're... Okay, this... God damn it, Chris. Okay, this is just like... Remember when you were complaining about how, you know, the trolls and, and ED attack you and you use that as an excuse for why you treat me like shit. Why do you think it's okay to treat some random person like shit just because you've been treated badly by other people that aren't related? It was, you know, to correct you, it is not. I did not do it on a random person, quote unquote. I actually you, had reasons to do it against you and your crew. I asked you why you stole something from Evan which happened a long time ago, as I understand, actually, well before I created Asper Chew. And your response is that, you know, because, because of something I draw. Well, I'm just saying that was... If I remember why, right... Why I, did, why I didn't care for what you did very much, and that was what you did there. Chris, when someone asks you a question, it's polite to respond with an answer that is relevant to the question. When I ask you why you think it's okay to steal Simon Chu from Evan, please don't respond by, you know, going off on some unrelated tangent about how you don't like me. Okay. Now, if I remember right on that, 
that Simon Chu uh, article before you doctored it to make it look differently. It said that it was like in August of 2008 that you that you you know quote unquote created Sonoma. That's a long time. That's over a year before I created Asper Chu. I created Asper Chu, you know, not even three months ago. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. What? Well, let's think about that moment so I can properly answer the question about the uh, so called character theft. You know what? I don't really want to go over whether you think um, stealing Simon Chu is right or wrong or not because we've done that before and you, you know, I, th- I was fooled. I thought that. I had gotten some kind of, you know, response out of you, which turned out to be a complete lie. Because you, to this day, still believe that Simona is yours and everyone else is evil. I just want to know why... why um, you think that you're perfect and that everyone else who has a disagreement with you is automatically wrong. Well, to correct you, I never thought that I was perfect. I am imperfect for... You still for think you're better than... You still think and you're I'm better, better than definitely everyone else. high-functioning autism. Well, what, what the hell does autism have to do with you being a bad person? No, I was just saying that that's one reason why I'm not perfect. So if not for autism, you think you would be perfect? Do you really think autism is your only flaw? I don't well, think I have aut- a lot of other flaws. I know that. Yeah, I don't think autism of the, of all of your flaws. I'm just saying, I don't I'm just think saying autism that, is deep I'm just saying that, that is one of my flaws that makes me not perfect. I am not perfect. I never said that. I mean, I have never said that I was perfect. You imply it by suggesting that Evan and I are evil people who who made you kill Simone because she was yours. You don't even. Oh, God, okay, now I'm really pissed off, Chris. I'm, I'm mad at you. Because why, you, how many years have you been pissing and moaning at, you know, people about your copyrights, your precious Sonichu copyright? But you don't give a shit about Evan's copyright or my copyright or anyone else. You just take whatever you want and you act like you're, you know, in the right by doing so. Why do you do that? You have no response, do you? I'm thinking. Can I think? (laughs) Sometimes my mind's a little slow. You've had, like, how many years of you know, worrying about copyright. I, I would think you would be a master of copyright law by now, considering how, how important it is to you. I mean, I think you would know copyright laws backward and forward. I am not as knowledgeable as a copyright lawyer. Chris, um, let's change the subject a little bit. What's up with that uh, your, your Christian Love Day video? Because it, because it was my birthday, and I was just making a stand against the drugs what? and the internet mollies. What stand? I'm not gonna be like I'm not gonna be pressed down by the likes of which, and I'm going to continue on. You you kind of just... I recognize that speech you used. You just took that from Independence Day. What? You took that I speech did not from... Take... Chris, that speech, really? that, that we will not go down without a fight speech, that was... That, that was, like, lifted directly from uh, Independence Day. You remember that movie? Well, I remember that movie. I saw it only once. 
And I did not know that those, that, that, line, that those lines came from that. That speech was actually written by a friend of mine. So you can't even write your own speech? I can write my own speech. But he, uh, I, I need my, let my friend do it for me. Well, why do you think that your birthday should be a holiday in the first place? Well, it, well, one point it is a, it is a holiday in Mexico. So it should be yeah. an equally important holiday in America. It's okay. It's Mexican Flag Day in Mexico. Um, Mexico has, I don't know what, like forty million citizens, something like that. Um, so, are you really saying that you know Mexican Flag Day? is no more important than your birthday? Should 40 million Americans or more be celebrating your birthday? I'm not saying... I am not saying that. You said that your birthday should be of equal importance to Mexican Flag Day. Oh, I was wrong. I just, I just looked it up. Actually, Mexico is like 110 million people. I was way off. Okay, so... So, so your birthday is more important than 110 million Mexicans. I never said that. And I never you said that everybody should celebrate my birthday on that day. Chris, um, you, your first response when I asked you, you know, like 90 seconds ago, I asked you, you know, why should your birthday be a holiday? And you said, well, it's a holiday in Mexico, therefore it should be of equal importance in America. That is exactly what you said. Yeah. And that's what you're thinking. You think that you think that Mexican Flag Day is just not even good enough, right? Well, it can be better. It can be better. Miss- it's a hundred. Um, it's a day for 110 million Mexicans to celebrate the freedom of their country. And that and that celebration could be sub- it could be accepted in America. Well, why? Why would Americans celebrate Mexico's uh, history? Americans have the 4th of July. That's when we celebrate our, our history. We have Flag Day, too. It's like June 16th, I think. That's about, uh, I think that's about right. Yeah. Yeah, so we already have a Flag Day. Or, still, I mean, we have, the, we have the Mexicans in America. And, and I'm sure they, they can celebrate Flag Day. Yeah. So, yeah. We should, so we should accept that and... And maybe celebrate as well in in like a congratulatory way for them. Well, then why wasn't your video um, about Mexican Flag Day instead of this made up Christian Love Day? One idea behind Christian Love Day is like the possibility of a second Valentine's Day. It's like ten days after the real Valentine's Day. Why would we need another Valentine so soon? It's like we need more. It's like we need more reminders to love and care about each other. Valentine's Day is a hallmark holiday sponsored by corporations to to sell shitty gift cards and 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 disgusting fake sugar candies. It's not about love. It's just a it's stupid corporate holiday. If you want, if you really want to celebrate love, you can do it at any time. You don't need a holiday. Just to help us help remind us to do so on a more constant basis. Okay, so why your birthday? That's why your birthday? Of, of all, the, all the days in the year, why would you choose your birthday for this particular holiday? Unless it was about celebrating yourself. Because it feels right. 